Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Um, before we begin, let me just first apologize that my March 2021 has been late, and I do apologize for that. I've been quite sick recently, so um, that's the reason for my late uploads. Please do bear with me with that. Um, anyway, I'm using my um, Light Sears Tarot deck. It's actually one of my most favorite deck right now. So I'm laying it out for you guys. I do hope you enjoy the artworks for it. Anyway, so please do know that this is going to be a general reading. So it may or may not change for each and every Libra people out there. So just keep that in mind. So let's take a look on what are the energy and influences that might be influencing us for the month of march and how things are going to be manifesting for us so what what are the things that might be going on for us um for this month so please do know that the way that i do my readings is not really about lessons or anything like that it's really more on predictive so um, if this is not something that is happening to you or will happen to you for the month of March, it may be that you're not tuning in with a reading. It could be for other people, all of those kinds of things. So just keep that in mind that the way that I do my readings is really more predictive kind of a reading. Um, so yeah, and you will also have to use your own intuition to actually um, relate this to your own personal situation if it is relating to it because it is a general reading so yeah so without any further ado let's just dive into the reading okay so we have here the first card is a five of pentacles five of pentacles gives an element of restriction and a point wherein you know we're not entirely free to do the things that we want it doesn't mean that we are restricted or locked or anything like that i kind of feel that whenever i see the five of pentacles coming into a reading this is a, a point of struggle or a point wherein things are not easy to do things are not entirely flowing so it it requires us to make more effort or a, a, or the things that we do um it's not something we are easily comfortable in doing you know so for example if you have to do some form of work um this is something that you need to force yourself to do you know it doesn't mean that you want to do some form of work right now it means that you're feeling quite sluggish and you don't feel like doing something but you have to do it anyway so it gives that form of feeling we're in we're not entirely set in our ways in doing something but we have to do something anyway so it gives that kind of energy into things and we also have here the ace of cups the ace of cups is quite of a healing situation so this could be a point of time wherein we are trying to work something in our love life relationships and it could be you know maybe we're doing a lot of hard work we're trying to put in a lot of effort to heal ourselves maybe this is a point of resting period for a lot of people you know you have been through a lot and you know if you have been working and overworking yourself this could be a situation wherein you encounter some form of burnout and you are forced to take a rest or at the very least you cannot um, give out the energy that you've put yourself into your priorities and the things that you have to do because you don't you simply don't have the energy to do them and i kind of feel that for a lot of libra you will have to learn how to balance things out you know and i know that libra is all about balance and all of that ideally even though libra rules the scales it does not mean that they are always balanced it actually means that they are always at the verge of trying to balance things out because you know they cannot be doing um, too much work and no rest they need to have a good element of work situation a good element of rest a good element of play you know everything should be balanced for things to be um, flowing and harmonious so that's going to be a lesson that we need to know because i kind of feel that you know we have here the ten of swords at the past situation making me feel that maybe um 
this is a situation wherein you have been you know very much drained very much tired into your situation i mean i'm talking about career and other personal situation of course in a relationship setup this is going to be different in a relationship reading this is going to come in um at the point wherein you're trying to um you're trying to feel better about your life situation, about the situation that you're in. I kind of feel that maybe you are at the point of feeling tired, tired of being single, tired of being alone. There's really something that is um, triggering you when it comes to a relationship. I kind of feel that for many of you, you are trying to manifest some form of love. You could be doing some form of law of attraction work, some form of spiritual work or magic work to draw something into your life because um, you're just so sick and tired of being alone. And now you could be you know, making use of your own intuition as well there is something about your life that you don't want to have anymore so you're trying to bring something in some form of new energy to come into play in into place as well um this can also be a situation where and maybe you're thinking of reconciling with someone wanting to or thinking about a past person in your life or th thinking about the good elements that has occurred in your life in your relationships um so yeah i cannot help but but kind of feel that this is really more about you not really working through a relationship but working on yourself so if you have not been focusing on yourself if you have not been giving too much attention on yourself not giving yourself enough love this is going to be a time wherein you are going to be you know working through things to love yourself just a little bit more <laughs> so um yeah this is also going to be a time wherein maybe you're doing a lot of research a lot of studying a lot of experimentation i kind of feel that there's a lot of things that you are really you know willing to experiment willing to learn willing to work things out especially we have the five of wands here and the page of wands it makes you feel that you know you are more open to try things during this time uh, more open to experiment things all at the same time as well <laughs> however there's also an element of fear um because we do have the nine of swords over here so it makes me feel that at one point of your life you're willing to hope for the best to wish for the best and to to it's like you're ready to to engage in some form of relationship especially if you're single but all at the same time there's a lot of fears that is surrounding you like um, what if it doesn't work out and all of that maybe you're thinking about a lot of elements of what has occurred for you because i kind of feel that for the libras that i'm picking up um during with this reading you know you have endured a lot you have encountered a lot like yes you know that you need to be positive you want to bring love again you want to be in love again you want to fall in love again but at the same time you know that you know um you have endured a lot of things and when you love you really go all out and there's a lot of fears as well with that however you are also willing to change things up in your life I forgot to to mention this earlier, but you do have the influence of Uranus in your um month this March twenty twenty one, and Uranus is all about changes. And for some people, this could be a point wherein if you are you don't want the relationship anymore, there's really something new that you are going to be bringing in for the month of March. So it's either uh, a breakup or uh, you want to be free some form of liberation or you could be in a situation wherein you're single for far too long and now you want to bring in a, a relationship you are desiring some form of relationship for some people you might be um, going on social media or maybe for some of you guys you might be interested in um downloading dating apps and trying trying to talk to people once again you know you're trying you're willing to be more experimentative during during this period of time and we do also have the ace of pentacles like giving us an energy wherein you tell yourself that you are ready to, to start a new venture and all of that so 
this is going to be a time where in i kind of feel that for a lot of libras you're doing a lot of things <laughs> it's like you're not just busy about yourself you're also busy for other people you're 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 thinking about other people you're trying to um have the urge to connect to other to a lot of a lot of people talk to people have more people to come into your life so it gives me a feeling that you know um you really need to start taking care of it, of yourself it's it's like the veils right now everything within your sight is closed off it's like it's like you're seeing things but at the same time you're not seeing the the entire thing you know um this is really like a libra kind of energy we're in when someone asks you a question of yes or no you cannot entirely say yes but you cannot entirely say no because you have uh, your, your thoughts about wanting to be in a relationship and you have your own thoughts of why i shouldn't be in a relationship so there's always an energy of pull and push kind of um a force here going on however i kind of feel that eventually though uh, this is going to be a needed push for you it's like going to be a signal that um if you are meant to be in a relationship very soon or maybe you are go going to meet someone very particular in your life very soon this is like you know giving a glimpse of what you can expect soon as well um i kind of feel that for a lot of libra this is really more of a transitioning point wherein if you are in a relationship um this is about you wanting to be free or you know maybe there's something wrong about the relationship and you have been quiet for far too long and this is a transition phase wherein you need to speak up learn to speak up and tell um uh, things for what it is you know this is about if you are single for um, for such a long period of time this is also going to be a situation wherein you are going to be transitioning to being in a relationship once again you know drawing a lover into your life you know bringing someone into your life and you know starting to communicate with a lot of people all at the same time you know especially if um this is just about this is you about about not just loving yourself more but learning to love another person all at the same time i kind of feel that this is a reading especially for those who haven't been in a relationship for such a long period of time this is you know um you're it's like it's like having a crisis situation not really affecting other people but yourself you know it's like am i ready to go out there and to start a new relationship to to start being with someone again am i really ready for that um i do have a lot of fears but um i kind of feel that you are ready and this is you you shouldn't really focus about the things that is not yet occurring in your life you know you cannot just fear that people are going to hurt you all the time uh, when they haven't even entered your life yet so I kind of felt that you need to give yourself a chance, a chance to to love and be loved and to love again um is what I'm really seeing over here. So, I kind of feel that, you know, if ever this there is a, like a slow pace of situation that is going on for you for the month of March, you are going to see some form of progress in your life, but it happens slowly. So, I kind of feel that you know there will be elements in your in your day-to-day -day life or in you feel that things are productive and there's going to be elements where in, okay i'm just so plain tired so um you know your everyday life is not entirely consistent because i kind of feel that there's going to be times wherein i feel so engaged i want to be productive and there is going to be times where i'm just so tired i want to watch movies all day long and i want to be i just want to sleep all day long as well you know so um your your activities and day-to-day -day life is very much um inconsistent i would say um and but little by little you are going to see that uh, things are going to pick up the pace is going to pick up and answers is going to be revealed to you something slowly occurs slowly happens and 
uh, you can actually see this as a point wherein you know when you're starting to learn drawing for example this is just a sample analogy that you can um, base things on you know when you try to draw you don't get good with drawing <laughs> the first time around you need to keep practicing and practicing and you might feel that you're not progressing at all that you're not improving at all um, and it it doesn't take one day, two days, or three days to improve your drawing. It takes a lot of time. And I kind of feel that this is what March is going to be for you. You feel that um, you're taking a long time to to progress from one one area to another. You feel that you're not moving your feet. You feel that you're not entirely progressing. But to be honest... And in reality, you're actually progressing in life. It's just that it's happening in a very slow way. So um, the things that are stagnant in your life is about to change. But it happens in a, in a slow manner, I would say. And if there are any re realizations that, that is going to come to you during this time, um, they happen in a very slow kind of pace. So it doesn't mean that they're not going to happen. It just means that, you know, it doesn't happen immediately in a blink of an eye because there's always, there's a lot of things that is distracting you, basically. You're not entirely focused on the goals that you have in your life and the goals that you want because you're always distracted about, uh, what about this? What about that? So there is those kinds of elements in place. So that's going to be for your march. But do know that there's going to be a lot of information and you are going to be able to work things out so so you don't need to be afraid you don't need to 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 be fearful that the things that you're doing is will not bear results because they will they truly will and there's going to be change that is going to be transpiring for you in the future um but um yeah uh, you just need to get over this month, I would say. Get over this month and uh, the next month is hopefully going to be much more smoother, much more flowing, and you will have your goal on target, you know. You will have a more clear goal. Um, and uh, if you are in a crossroads right now, you can say that you are at the, at the point where you're stuck at traffic. You're stuck, you're stuck at traffic and it's hard to go and move forward, you know. This is not about you being confused on which path to take. It's just that there's a lot of things going on right now that you need to work on, you need to do. There's a lot of things in your mind. There's a lot of distraction. But just like any, all, just like any traffic, Sooner or later, um, things will get smoother and the path that is right in front of you will be much more smoother and less blockageable will be there eventually. This is also a situation wherein, you know, a lot of you guys might be going into a, to their spirituality, you know, working on spirit, spirituality ventures, maybe doing a lot of prayers or doing a lot of magic work, you know studying something very new you're you're working on something that you haven't done so in such a long time or you could be working on things that um that is filling in your curiosity and whether that is actually helpful for your situation and for your ventures in life is another story i just kind of feel that you know the month of March is going to be very insightful for a lot of Libra people. There's a lot of things that you are going to experience, a lot of things that you are going to engage on. And at the end of the day, um, some form of answer is going to be revealed to you. And the changes that you're seeking, hoping to achieve, will occur. And... Um, something will eventually work out that is just you know the gist of on the situation so um yeah 
some form of communication is definitely going to enter the forefront of things as well. So this is really more of a situation wherein you try and try and doing a certain thing and it's not working out. And slowly, because of you trying and trying things over and over again, you find out the reason why things are not working out. So you are going to be finding out, okay, so what do I need to focus on? What do I need to work on? You know, there's going to be a, an aha moment wherein you find out that, okay, I'm doing this over and over again and it's not working out. And now I find out the reason or a situation that will allow me to manifest what I want, that will allow me to actually progress with the things that I truly want. You will be able to pinpoint what you can actually work on, you know, so it may take like a long shot with things. But um, the answers that get revealed to you is going to be something that is very helpful and very beneficial for you at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Libra. I do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your situation one way or another. Um, there could be a lot of hard work, but um, it is going to be fruitful at the end of the day. So don't give up. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And if you do want a more personal reading just like this or something, of course, more specifically done for you in your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by .com. And all the information will be down below the description of this video. And I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye.